Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 8th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at the last 48 hours of imagery of our sun, as we have yet another M class solar flare to talk about, and that is that was from the outgoing sunspot regions. No major coronal mass ejections heading our way. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming. Lots of plasma filaments dancing around there. The surface. An equatorial region. Looking outgoing here is where we saw that sunspot region on the right hand side produce two M-class solar flares in the past two days. And a pretty large plasma ejection there in the last few images equatorial region have a quick note here m-class solar flare from that sunspot region still waiting for coronal mass ejection forecasts to come out from it multi-spectrum here last 48 hours no coronal holes to talk about except for the diminishing coronal hole in the southern hemisphere Just some amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily events worldwide. And thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up for the video and information shared. Amazing images. And we have 10 sunspot regions still on the Earth-facing view of our sun. Another quick look here at our sunspot regions in fluid motion. This is the last 48 hours of imagery. Current space weather conditions, right now we are under R1, minor radio blackout impacts expected, weak or minor degradation of the high frequency radio, solar winds are coming in at 466 kilometers per second, solar x-ray flux as you can see, highly energetic in the last two days, seeing four strong, or four M-class solar flares, three of them very strong, and as well multiple C-class solar flares. Geomagnetic activity come, has come down and KP index slightly rising. Having a look here at the space prediction, space weather prediction spiral, still expecting a space weather event 9th into the 10th. ISWA space prediction spiral, not showing any new CMEs, but definitely on the right hand side there, showing all the cosmic energy heading our way through February 9th and 10th. Minor geomagnetic instability is forecast. Have a quick look here at our magnetosphere in action. This is showing our fast solar winds. As I mentioned, over 466 kilometers per second. Yesterday I showed the pressure. The pressure seems to be off now. Lasco 3, showing the last two days of events. There's that large halo CME that took off from the backside of our sun. Other than that, not showing very much since that large event. Now let's get to earthquakes the last 24 hours. As we're going to start out here with the most recent 4.2 earthquake in Papua New Guinea. Goroko, Goroka, as well, notable earthquake here, Southeast Australia, 4.5, Liangatha, Australia, so pretty rare place for an earthquake on the continent, quiet through New Caledonia and Fiji, things quieting down through the Philippines plate, and not much to report through Japan, northward into Russia, 4.4 earthquake there, Carlsberg Ridge, as well, a 4.5 earthquake reported to Tajikistan. And then through Greece, 4.5 and a 4.1 here, Albania. Pretty rare place for an earthquake. 
And then we get to the United States here and a pretty rare earthquake being reported today, 4.0, Cape Canaveral, Florida. Let me know in the comments section if anybody felt that earthquake today. It looks like it was off land at Cape Canaveral. 4.7 earthquake there reported, Lorito, Mexico. Other than that, no major swarms to talk about. Most largest earthquake across American soil was the 4.0. Notable activity here north of uh, the Cocos Plate and the West Chile Rise. Things quieting down at Kilauea as we're seeing quite a pressure, ba pressure valve releasing at the Iceland volcano. If you haven't seen that yet, I did update early this morning on that eruption. Having a look now at the last seven days around the world, notable all the activity across the United States right now and North Atlantic and all the recent activity, Philippines plate. We still haven't seen a 6.0 or greater earthquake in over a week, if not two weeks, so heads up. Now let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing most recent satellite imagery and pointing out the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. We've got Popopocatito in Mexico. And as well, Sabancaya in Peru, Semeru in Indonesia, Marapi in Indonesia, Reventador in Ecuador, Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia, Fuego in Guatemala, As well, of course, the Rek Jains Iceland volcano eruption early this morning, Luwatolo in Indonesia, Ibu in Indonesia, Era in Japan, Santa Maria in Guatemala, and as well, the Mayan volcano in the Philippines. Having a look here, satellite imagery, two very large systems, one over the United States heading up into Canada, and one heading eastward through the North Atlantic. Interesting line of moisture coming from the equator. Two atmospheric rivers stretching up, heading northeast. Having a look here, satellite imagery over Australia, Southeast Asia. We do have three tropical storms to talk about. Tropical Cyclone Nat, Tropical Cyclone Osai, and as well, Tropical Cyclone number 12. None of them are expected to hit mainland. And then overlooking Africa and most of Europe. Big systems roaring in right now. Gray days ahead for most of all of Europe. Strong winds, lots of moisture coming into Spain. Now let's have a look at our air quality forecast. As not much has changed since yesterday, but I'm sure the models will be changing into tomorrow. Having a look here, three-day forecast, still quite a bit of SO2 in our northern hemisphere right now. A little bit concerning. Air quality is not very good, and mainstream media is not talking about it. So heads up, my friends and family from around the world. Our world is changing quickly. Having a look here, big plumes coming off of Kamchatka. About three or four active and erupting volcanoes through that region. Big plume coming out of Aoba. And then overlooking at Europe and Africa. Low pressure systems starting to sweep in all of that SO2 into Eastern Europe. Now let's get to weather forecast brought to you by windy.com. Starting out here, overlooking Europe, as we've got a big low coming in over the next few days. It's going to be bringing multiple swaths of moisture and then watch for it to break into multiple low pressure systems. A few of them heading northward into parts of Eastern Europe and then long range forecast, another big system developing in the North Atlantic, overlooking Australia, 
South Africa, and Southeast Asia. No major weather systems affecting right now, but lots of moisture through Madagascar. And a possible cyclone here developing in the long range for Northern Territory of Australia. And overlooking North America and Central America. Big low pressure system heading up into Hudson Bay this week as multiple lows linger on the west coast. High pressure ridge moving in for the 12th and extreme weather developing around the same time for Florida and interesting developments in the long range forecast coming out of Mexico. Gonna have to keep an eye on this system. We could see a superstorm developing. Quick look here at temperature forecasts for the next few days. Long range. As the polar vortex is mainly hanging out over Russia and Eastern Europe. But watch for those cold temperatures to flood westward. Some very cold temperatures reaching all the way down to northern India. So heads up. Winter is far from over. As much as we've been seeing some dramatically warm temperatures in Ontario, this polar vortex, having a look here at our upper level winds on our planet, this thing is centered over Siberia, and that is not our North Pole. But apparently, this could be our new North Pole. Things are not what they used to be. Much love, everybody. We're watching all these changes happen before our eyes. And please, share this video with your friends and family from around the world. And thank you so much for all the shares, the likes, the love, and the loyalty to this channel. We'll see you next video. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.